Hi everyone! Today also I would like to talk about the electron pneumatic positioner. ABB provide a high quality single and double acting electron pneumatic positioners. In this video I will demonstrate the mechanical installation and the auto calibration of ABB TZ IBC electron pneumatic positioner. First of all I will do the mechanical installation on a linear valve actuator. Then I will provide the positioner with pneumatic and electrical signals. After that, I will do auto calibration and determination of start of scale of the valve and full of scale and put the positioner in service. Let's go! If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. For this demonstration, we need a linear control valve, a mounting kit for a linear control valve, and ABB TZ IDC single acting electron pneumatic positioner to set up and connect the positioner and for commissioning you need to connect the positioner mechanically First of all, we mount the positioning bracket on the actuator and tighten it up very well and make sure it will not be shifted anymore. We mount and add on lever with follower pin on the shift of the positioner as well as mounting bracket for fastening the positioner. Set the bolt that the maximum control of the positioner for linear actuator of plus or minus 28 degrees. Now connect the compressed air connection leads to the supplier connection. For single acting actuators, connect the lead to the actuator at the middle connection and out one to the actuator. For TZIDC, the pressure must be between 1.4 bar to 6 bar. The electricity must only be connected when the power is switched off. Remove front cover of the positioner and place cables for plus on terminal 11 and minus on terminal 12. Before switching the power on, we must check that the existing operating voltage corresponds to that mentioned on the nameplate of the positioner. The same leads are used for the post, the power supply and the output signal. Now we are ready to switch the power on. The display starts and after a few seconds the current control values are displayed. 
Now we are presented with LCD and four buttons in button, enter button, up and down buttons. Now I will switch the positioner to manual mode. To do this, hold the mode button and change the mode to 1.2 option by using up button. I will do a quick test by open and close the valve using up and down buttons. Then I return to auto mode by selecting option 1.0 in the same way. To reach the configuration menu, we hold on up and down buttons and click on enter button and wait for 3 seconds. Release up and down buttons and now you are presented with the first option P1.0. This option is used to determine the type of the valve. We hold on mode button and move to auto calibration parameter P1.1 using up button. Then we hold on enter button for 3 seconds and auto calibration will start immediately. During auto adjustment, the actuator is open and closed multiple times to adjust the positioner. This procedure takes up to 4 minutes. On completion, we hold on mode button and move by up button to parameter 1.5 to save the calibration before exit. We hold enter for 3 seconds, then the calibration will be saved. Now we will determine the start of scale and full of scale of the actuator. To reach the configuration menu, we hold on up and down buttons and click on enter button and wait for 3 seconds. We hold on enter and mode button and move by using up button to reach parameter number 6 to determine the start of scale of the valve. We close the valve by using down and up button and hold on enter button for 3 seconds. We move to next parameter 6.1 by using mode and up button to determine the full of scale of the valve. We open the valve to the maximum and hold on enter button for 3 seconds. We move to parameter 6.7 by using mode and up button in order to save the configuration that we have just done. We hold on enter button for 3 seconds in order to save this configuration. Now we set the positioner to manual mode in order to check the start of scale and full of scale of the actuator. Then we get back to auto mode and start sending electrical signals from single loop controller to test the positioner.
ABB TZIDC Electroneumatic Positioner is ready for service now. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.